you know, all of these are interesting indications that may imply that some intelligence designed the trajectory. So I had one sentence at the end of the paper saying, maybe the trajectory was designed. And the editor said, no, no, no. The paper will not get published unless you remove that sentence. Wow. So now when you, are, when you listen to comet experts that say, well, this claim or that claim was never published in a peer-reviewed journal, guess what? They are the editors or the reviewers who are blocking. 3i Atlas is behind the sun right now, but every major observatory pointed at it is watching like something could happen. Scientists won't say that out loud, of course. They say things like unusual outgassing behavior and non-standard spectral signatures. But if you listen carefully, there's a tension in the way they speak. There's something about this object that doesn't fit into a category. Not a comet like the ones we know. Not an asteroid shaped by our sun's chemistry. It's moving like it doesn't care about gravity the way everything else does. It's shedding material in directions that don't make sense and no one can agree on why. Amazingly, the best image was obtained on October 2nd, 2025, when 3i Atlas came within 30 million kilometers of Mars. And it was taken by the high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which is operated by NASA. You, as you remember, October 1st was the government shutdown. So October 2nd, the data was taken, but it was never released. The part that has everyone uneasy isn't the object itself, it's the silence around it. NASA's spacecraft have already captured high-resolution images as it passed near Mars. Those images exist, teams have seen them, yet what the public gets are low-resolution frames that show almost no meaningful structure. The visible details amount to a dim, elongated blur with scattered light noise and a suggestion of motion, but no clarity. I wrote to the principal investigator of HiRISE, asked, can, can I get the data? I'm a scientist, you know, I, you can do the press release afterwards, I would like to see it. Right. No response. Each time a request is made for higher resolution versions, the answer is delayed by administrative phrasing about internal review cycles, image calibration time frames, and government priority procedures. Researchers who typically express analysis dispassionately are using more emotional vocabulary than usual describing the situation as disappointing, discouraging, or obstructive. That shift in tone indicates the scientific interest is not just academic. There is something here that is genuinely puzzling, and the inability to examine key data is constraining progress. 3i Atlas is expected to pass through our system only once. Its path is hyperbolic, meaning it is not gravitationally bound to the sun and will not return after this encounter. It will move through, around, and away, eventually fading into interstellar space. The most informative observational window is small and already narrowing. At the present moment, as the object passes behind the sun from Earth's perspective, the only platforms with direct line of sight are spacecraft positioned at Mars, in solar orbit, or stationed at Lagrange points. These are instruments capable of capturing highly detailed imaging and spectral data. The question being raised in the scientific community is not whether the data exists, it is why access is limited. Rotational analysis presents further complexity. Most small bodies in our solar system follow rotational behaviors that stabilize over time, influenced by solar tides, impacts, or YORP torque effects. 3i Atlas demonstrates irregular rotation that appears to shift gradually over days, with variations that do not align cleanly with either external torque or thermal angular momentum redistribution. Several teams propose that internal mass concentrations or anisotropic outgassing could account for these variations. Others suggest the object may have undergone fragmentation or reaccumulation earlier in its history, leading to a complex internal density distribution. None of these explanations are unreasonable, they simply require a model that accounts for formation conditions beyond our system. The challenge in communicating this object to the public lies in balancing accuracy with uncertainty. Scientific inquiry progresses through hypothesis refinement, comparison of independent datasets, and slow convergence toward explanatory models. However, the presence of withheld observational imagery 
disrupts that process. Without full transparency, hypotheses cannot be cross-validated, and the absence of data creates a void into which speculation naturally enters. This is not because scientists wish to promote mystery, but because the public environment surrounding scientific discovery has changed. Information spreads rapidly, and interpretive narratives develop before context is available. Institutions attempt to delay release until interpretation is mature. That delay, however, is perceived externally as intentional secrecy rather than caution. In the scientific context, hesitation is an attempt to avoid misrepresentation. In the public context, hesitation resembles concealment. When institutions slow or restrict information flow, even for responsible reasons, trust erodes. The gap between expert caution and public expectation expands, and meaning fills that gap whether or not it aligns with reality. Researchers analyzing 3i Atlas are primarily interested in understanding how interstellar objects record the history of their origin. Every small body is a geological archive of the environment in which it formed. The layering of minerals, the isotopic ratios of carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen, the structure of fractures, the density distribution, all provide insight into pressure, temperature, radiation, and mechanical forces present during formation. If 3i Atlas originated in a young star system, it may contain minerals representing early planetary accretion. If it formed near a dying or variable star, it may include compounds exposed to abnormal radiation regimes. Each possibility contributes to comparative planetology, exoplanet formation modeling, and galactic material exchange. What complicates interpretation is the lack of any baseline data set for objects formed outside our system. With only two prior confirmed interstellar objects observed, both with limited resolution and incomplete spectral data, there is no established classification framework. 3i Atlas must be studied without direct analogs. This places the scientific community in a position of confronting novelty without descriptive language fully prepared to handle it. In such conditions, ambiguities are expected. The process of understanding is inherently iterative. The missing high-resolution imaging is therefore a critical component of the research process. Detailed surface imaging would allow identification of fracture patterns, reflectance gradients, compositional layering, and thermal surface response variation. These are the characteristics that could differentiate whether the object formed through slow accretion in a protoplanetary disk, high energy fragmentation in a dense cluster, or condensation near a metal-rich or metal-poor stellar environment. Without these details, analyses rely on distant spectral inference and brightness variation modeling, both of which carry high uncertainties. The reason the delayed release of imaging data has caused such widespread frustration among researchers is not because they suspect concealment of extraordinary findings, but because they recognize that the observational window is closing and with it an irreplaceable scientific opportunity. Objects like 3i Atlas are rare, and the periods during which they are most active are brief. As the object moves away from the intense thermal environment surrounding perihelion and begins traveling back into the colder, darker regions of interplanetary space, the physical processes that currently make it observable in detail will diminish. Sublimation will slow as surface volatiles lose thermal stimulation. The jets and plumes of gas and dust that provide insight into internal composition and structure will become weaker and eventually cease. The coma will thin, the tail will contract, and the object will transition from an active, revealing state into a dormant, featureless state that yields far less data. In addition, as the angle of illumination changes, the way light interacts with the surface will shift. Shadows that currently emphasize ridges, fractures, and texture will flatten. Spectral reflectance will lose some of its contrast. This means that features currently visible may not remain visible in the coming months, even if new images are captured later. The observational value is not simply in the presence of the object, but in the specific conditions under which it is currently emitting material, reflecting sunlight, and interacting with the solar environment. 
missing this phase means losing access to the most informative aspects of its physical behavior. Once that information is lost, no observational technology, current or foreseeable, can recreate it. A scientific window is not just a time frame. It is a combination of geometry, energy, temperature, and proximity that does not repeat. Because of this, the delay in releasing the higher resolution images is not seen as an administrative inconvenience. It is seen as the potential loss of empirical data that cannot be reconstructed or inferred after the fact. Even if raw data files are released later, the absence of timely access now prevents independent teams from cross-analyzing findings during the window in which meaningful interpretation is still possible. In science, simultaneous analysis by multiple groups is not just a matter of efficiency. It is the core mechanism through which results are validated and error is minimized. Once the object dims and stabilizes, any later interpretation becomes speculation constrained by incomplete knowledge. This is the concern that underlies the frustration, not secrecy, but irreversible scientific loss. The broader significance of 3i Atlas extends well beyond its individual characteristics. Its passage through our solar system represents a direct material link to regions of the galaxy that are currently unreachable by any human spacecraft. Even with the most powerful telescopes, distant stars can only be studied through the light they emit. That light must travel across vast distances, interacting with dust, gas, and magnetic fields, losing information along the way. From starlight alone, scientists can infer surface temperature, chemical composition, rotation rates, and atmospheric presence, but these remain interpretations rather than direct measurements. In contrast, interstellar objects are not photons. They are physical structures. They are fragments of planetary or preplanetary environments that formed under different conditions and were eventually expelled into space. They carry within them the mineralogical record of those environments. The public fascination with unusual phenomena often gravitates toward dramatic explanations. However, the true importance of 3i Atlas lies in the stability and methodology of scientific inquiry. If studied fully and transparently, it could refine models of matter distribution in the Milky Way, contribute to understanding of how planetary systems exchange materials and broaden awareness of how many types of worlds exist beyond our observational reach. If studied incompletely or secretively, its potential meaning could transform into cultural speculation and distraction, overshadowing the real scientific value. Eventually, 3i Atlas will emerge from behind the sun, though at greater distance and reduced observable activity. Telescopes will capture additional data, but the pivotal phase of its passage has already occurred. It will continue outward, decreasing in brightness until it becomes indistinguishable from background stars and interstellar dust. Once it reaches that point, no optical instrument currently available will be able to track it reliably. The opportunity to record detailed knowledge will be closed. The question, then, is not whether the universe is providing us access to new information. The question is whether our institutions can process, interpret, and communicate that information in a manner that maintains scientific integrity while also sustaining public trust. Objects like 3i Atlas redefine our sense of scale and context. They broaden the spatial and temporal frameworks through which we understand our planet, our solar system, and our place in the galaxy. To treat such encounters as routine is to diminish the potential insight they offer. To obscure them through hesitation is to risk losing knowledge to time. 3i Atlas is not extraordinary because it appears mysterious. It is extraordinary because it is real, measurable, and present, and because it holds within it evidence of environments beyond direct human reach. Our responsibility is not to sensationalize it, nor to suppress information about it, but to study it carefully and share that knowledge clearly. Once it leaves, the record we make now will be the only record that remains. What we do with this moment will determine whether we gain understanding or watch understanding pass us by.